we'd carried a, a Sea King round with us to discharge the rapier batteries, which were supposed to provide the air defence round uh, Fitzroy, because they'd only just landed them ashore in boggy, peaty conditions. They couldn't set them up in time. So, uh, but he was handy, and he uh, did a lot of uh, lifts of the, of the badly injured. I went up in the forecastle with the, some of these um, uh, medics from uh, the Royal Army Medical Corps that we'd taken round. They were supposed to set up their hospital in Fitzroy, of course, so a lot of them had already gone ashore, but some were left. Anyhow, we got all the badly burnt Welsh Guardsmen that we could find up there, and Simon Meston was one of them. And uh, very fortunate, the old Sea King was able to, and the other Wessex were able to get him pretty close. And we had some pallets which the rope stood on, and we loaded these guys on, badly burnt ones, onto these pallets, and four of us lifted it up. And uh, uh, they managed to move him inside the helicopters. But uh, it's, it wasn't a, I mean, uh, I remember patting old, I think it must have been old Simon Weston on my head and said, because he was moaning and whatever, and you know, obviously in a lot of pain. I pat him in on there, so right, Taff, you won't be long, we'll get you ashore. And all his bloody hair fell out, which was, a, and the smell of burning flesh as well up there, which is, which is pretty frightening as well. And the, my chief engineer was up there, but he, he'd been blown through one of these wooden doors out onto the outside. And I linked up with him on the, as I was going forward. And he, well, he said, right, I'm not getting off yet until you get off. So we, we sat him down behind the bulkheads there because he wasn't able to do any lifting or thing. And uh, he and I were the last off the ship. But we got all rid of all these Welsh guards. How long did it take? It took at least half an hour, I think. I don't know, it's very difficult to judge time when you're in these sort of circumstances. We were all landed at the, uh, at the uh, school playing field over there in Fitzroy, where they'd set up an emergency hospital inside the schoolhouse there. And uh, that's when I went in to see uh, you know, one of my second steward, Captain called Louis Tolman Ton, his name was. Very good man. He was in there, lying on the on the deck of all these other patients, and uh, completely blackened face. And he could say, "Hi, Captain," <laughs> and I recognised him. I went over to him, old Louis. And he was even a, he was pretty badly burnt, his face and everything. He was not in a good condition. They were all shunted back to the Uganda eventually. <laughs>